Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Indiana Superintendent of Public Instruction Glenda Ritz will make a special campaign announcement Thursday in Indianapolis and then travel to five other cities to repeat the message, according to the Facebook page of Ritz's campaign. Sunday's posting comes two days after national public education advocate Diane Ravage wrote on her blog that Ritz will challenge Governor Mike Pence in the 2016 gubernatorial election. Ritz said last month she was considering a run for governor. Voter turnout for last month's primary elections is up significantly over the last few election cycles that had only municipal, not state races. That uptick is likely a product of recent voter roll cleanup efforts, but recent voter roll purges spearheaded by the Secretary of State's office have cleared hundreds of thousands of names from voter registration lists. Indiana is training up to 300 prisoners how to call poultry flocks infected by viruses. It's one of several precautions the state is taking to prevent a new strain of the avian flu from taking hold in the state. The virus poses no, re no risk to human health, but it is fatal to birds and spreads quickly, often wiping out entire chicken or turkey flocks. In response, the Indiana State Board of Animal Health is partnering with the Department of Corrections to train low-level offenders at several locations across the state to euthanize and properly dispose of poultry that test positive for the virus. And now here's the weather forecast for tonight. Mostly cloudy, lows down to 52 degrees, and a bit warmer in the five-day forecast tomorrow. Partly cloudy, 72 up to 77 on Wednesday. Slight chance of rain returns to the forecast on Thursday. Highs up to 81, 82 by Friday. More news online on our website at WTIUnews.org. And don't forget, Indiana News Desk, News Desk Fridays at 6.